Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and today I'm going to bring you my wrap up of some graphic works that I read. We have a couple of manga, one comic and some manga memoirs, so not really any graphic novels this time. I uh, didn't read a whole lot. I haven't, I haven't been reading a whole lot. Anyway, let's just get right into it. So the first book that I read was A Silent Voice Volume 5 by Yoshitoiki Oima. This volume continues the series. This series is about Shoya, who used to bully Shoko in primary school. In, uh, did they call it elementary school? Anyway, when they were, when they were young. She's deaf and so in high school they meet again and Shoya really regrets his actions so he's trying to be her friend. Yeah, I thought this this was quite a good volume. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Some interesting things happened. No spoilers. Um, on my review though, I tried to keep spoiler free. So yeah, I enjoyed this volume and after this there's two volumes left. So after I finish those in the next few months, then I plan on watching the movie. This volume, volume 5, did end on a cliffhanger, just so you know. So, I'm looking forward to reading volume 6 and 7. Here's some of the art. Next up, I reread volume 7 of Fruit Basket by Natsuki Takaya. And this was a reread for me. The last one in the series is a reread. And I enjoyed this one quite a bit. This series is about Tora Honda, a high school girl who starts to live with the Soma family. Um, this continued the story. So then I, I read volume 8. This was a new to me read and I didn't enjoy this one as much as volume 7. From here on out the volumes will be new to me read so I look forward to see how the series is going to develop. Then I read I Hate Fairy Land volume 4, Sadly Never After. And I really enjoyed volumes 1, 2 and 3. This uh, volume continues the story of Gert. She ends up in Fairyland. She's been stuck there for many years. So she is kind of a, I'm not sure, 30 plus year old woman. I'm not entirely sure how, how old she is. Stuck in the body of a six year old. Well, I, I can't show you too much because of spoilers. So here is Gert. I can't really show you too much of the like colorful art. I enjoyed this volume, but I am confused at the ending. This is volume 4 and as far as I've been able to work out when I actually bought this earlier in the year, this was the last one that I could find. Based on the ending, I'm not sure if that is the conclusion to the whole series and it's over now, or whether it means that there are going to be more volumes. I might have misunderstood it. I'm really not sure at this point. So the ending was... It confused me a bit in the sense that I'm not sure if that means it's the end or not, if that makes sense. But I did like the rest of the things about this volume. It was it was an enjoyable read. Oh, I didn't say I Hate Fairyland Volume 4, Sadly Never After, is written by Scotty Young. And there are two other people who were involved in its map. And then lastly, I read My Solo Exchange Diary, Volume 1. Oh, there's, a, there's one. And I read My Solo Exchange Diary, Volume 2. Now, I have to tell you, the first book in this series is called My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness. I read this last month, I think. This is a manga memoir series about the author, Nagata Kabi. So, in this series, this is book one, it's called My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness. Then book two in this series is called My Solo Exchange Diary 1. Yeah. And book three in this series is called My Solo Exchange Diary 2. So these have a one and two on the spine. This one doesn't have anything. And both of them at the top say this is a sequel to My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness. But book two says that same thing. So, I was a bit confused. And I accidentally started to read My Solo Exchange Diary 2 first, thinking this was the second book in the series after this one, because I had a two on the spine, and this was one. So, part way into this book, the author suddenly mentions that she had published two books, and I was like, wait a minute, this is book one, where, where, where's the second one? 
and then, and then I started thinking about that. I thought, oh, I'm not reading the right one. I'm, I'm, I should have been reading this one. So then I put this one down, and I read this one. It continues like the story of the author's life that started in this book. It has themes of mental illness in there, mental health, family, love, loneliness, friendship. So after I finished this one, I then went on to read my Solo Exchange Diary Volume 2. I had read the other day about a quarter of it before I realised that I wasn't reading the right one. I decided to reread these pages because as I started it, I, yeah, I thought it'd be bad to reread the pages. So I actually ended up rereading the pages that I had read before. So that I could connect them what happened in this to what happened in this book. So yeah, then I read this one. I'll try to show you some of the art. This is the first book in the series. Here is a, a page of it. Oh, I don't know if you can see all that. So the art is kind of black and white with pink tones in some places. Anyway, so I quite enjoyed reading my Solo Exchange Diary 1 and my Solo Exchange Diary 2. I quite like them. If the author decides to publish any more in this series, I would like to read them. I quite enjoyed reading all this and learning about how life there was mental illness representation of depression. Yeah, I really enjoyed these volumes and I related to it on a personal level later in the day actually. So I had I had finished these and then soon after that I some stuff happened and I was crying a lot myself. Although when I'm recording this, it probably be a little while for you, for you watch this video. But then I thought back of these books, and I thought I, I thought back of the author and what she was saying, and yeah. So yeah, overall, um, this time gladly no reads that I really didn't like. A couple of bits that I was disappointed by, maybe. Yeah, I didn't actually read so much as I had had hoped or wanted, but. I, I don't know, I haven't been feeling much like reading lately and I have been busy, some some stuff happened with my family and I also spent some time with my family and yeah, I, I went out, I did some stuff, I was feeling tired. Too tired to even read. Now before I started on these graphic works I actually started reading The Core by Peter V. Brett. I don't have that with me right now. It's in the other house. But for this, so now that I'm finished with these reads, I will go back to that. I think I'm maybe about 40% into it. 30, 40% into it, something like that. It's 860 plus pages. It'll take a while. Um, long books tend to put me more easily in reading slumps than shorter books because it just doesn't feel as much like you're making much progress, if that makes sense. I'm not saying I have a reading slump. Um, I'm feeling a bit slumpy. I wouldn't call it a reading slump just yet. Especially not considering I did read all these books that are now here on the table in front of me. All these books. But I've just not been as much in the mood for reading and I haven't, I've, I've just been busy, I haven't had as much time, and yeah, anyway. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!